Yes. Today we will see the milling processes or operations. Milling processes and operations. Which operations can be carried out on milling machine that we will see. So number one or milling operation number one plane on slab milling. Number two side milling. Number three for game five angular mini six profile or four mini seven and eight is not my sleeping sleeping operation and thread milling These are the operations can be carried out on milling machines. So one by one we will see. So first one plane or so plane or slab milling. The figure of slab milling or face milling in which uh, milling the plane surface horizontal plane surface the surface is parallel to the axis of the cutter as far as work piece is concerned work piece is mounted on the table cutter will be mounted on the arbor and the feed can be adjusted by the moving the table up and down simply you can say Flat milling or slab milling means for making plane horizontal surfaces. Okay. Then next one is a <coughs> side milling. Now in side milling cutter or in side milling operations, the cutter is mounted on the arbor and whatever the surface you want to be, it will be perpendicular to axis of the cutter side surfaces and of course for cutting uh, the side surface or vertical surface side milling cutter will be used and in case of plane milling or slab milling the cutter will be used uh, plane milling cutter slab milling cutter okay now next one is a uh, straddle milling in the straddle milling you can mill two vertical surfaces parallel to each other and of course the cutters will be used side milling cutters and uh, the distance between the two cutter will be adjusted by using the spiral, uh, spacing collars these two cutters are mounted on the arbor and the distance between the two cutters can be adjusted by the spacing collars. If the distance is small, you have to put the spacing collar having uh, required size and the distance is away. So you have to use number of collars or well, collars having long distances. Okay. So in this type of milling operations, you can mill or you can machine two parallel surface at a time. For example, if you want to uh, cut the square surface, so in case of 
side milling cutter or plain milling cutter you have to cut four times but in case of straddle milling operations in two times you can produce the square so these two sides can be machined simultaneously then turn the joint and these two sides can be machined at a time or simultaneously similarly hexagonal surface <coughs> so you can mill these two parallel surfaces, these two parallel surfaces and these two parallel surfaces. This is called straddle milling operations. Okay. Gang milling operations. In these operations, you can mount number of cutters on the same arm. More than two. If there is a two cutter, it will be straddle milling. The number of cutters can be mounted on the arbor of different angles and the space between the two cutters can be adjusted by the spacing collars and uh, the surface required machining can be machined different surfaces in one pass and uh, obviously if you are using number of cutters for milling, so machining time will be reduced or it saves the time for machining. And this type of operation is generally used in repetitive works. Repetitive works are, are the, number, the work which repeats number of times. So in such cases, gang milling operations can be used. Next is silting operations. Silting operations. I have studied types of filling cutters in which silting saw is there having thickness maximum thickness is 0.5. This silting saw is generally used for parting of parting of the solid piece into two parts or you look uh, use as a power hex or you can say so this special silicon operation means parting of the solid pieces into two parts then thread milling thread milling operation in which you can see the figure thread can be generated by using the thread milling cutters of course this thread milling cutter is mounted on the arbor and uh, work is uh, this thread milling causes the threads on the workpiece and if there is a uh, coarse pitch coarse pitch required single milling cutter is to be used and if uh, fine pitch fine pitch uh, or uh, distance between the two threads is called as pitch coarse pitch required to you have to use a <coughs> single thread milling cutter and if we require fine pitch on the surface so number of cutters are to be used number of cutters means this one number of cutter second number of cutter third number of cutter etc etc so if required fine pitch distance between the two consecutive thread is small at that time number of thread milling cutters are used and if coarse uh, pitch required single milling cutter or single thread milling cutter will be used the depth of the thread or the profile of the thread according to the size or uh, you can say pitch can be replica of the cutter ok now next cutter is uh, next operation operations angular milling machine operation means uh, the surface not parallel not vertical 
the surface is implied at an angle. Uh, maybe single angle like this. Maybe double angle. So a special type of milling cutter will be used that we are studying angular milling cutter, single angle, angle milling cutter, double angle milling cutter. So example V block. We have seen this V block. So this V block can be cut by using double angle milling cutter. Okay. Then next one is form milling cutters. Uh, form milling operations. For perform form milling operations, form milling cutters are used. Form milling cutters where you can generate concave, convex surfaces or any regulations as we require or any profile. The cutter shape should be replica of the profile to be generated. Suppose you want to generate uh, this type of surface. So the milling cutter shape should be a replica of this profile. Or you are, suppose you are generating the involute teeth gear profile like this. So this shape, this shape is a gear cutter or form cutter should have the replica of this profile. Okay, that is called form milling cutter. Okay. Now, end milling operation. In end milling operations, uh, end milling cutters are used, and this cutter is used for making flat surface, maybe horizontal, maybe vertical, maybe inclined, especially for making the slots, grooves, keyways. This end milling cutter serves. Suppose you want to make the key way on the shaft <coughs> like this. So, according to the size of the key way, milling cutter is to be selected and vertical milling cutter will be like this and shaft will be like this just to form the groove. Okay, so generally flat surfaces in the form of grooves, maybe horizontal, maybe vertical, and maybe inclined, end milling cutters are used or end milling operations to be performed. Uh, end milling operation you can say for making the holes also. Okay. Now last one is T slot cutting. So T slot T slot. Milling. Actually, T slot milling is the combination or it will be performed in two steps. First step you can see in end milling operations. First you have to make the slot and second step same work piece and the suppose slot is made here like this and T slot milling cutter is to be inserted inserted means uh, from side and T will be produced here like this and of course the cutter size should be according to the required T and required slot slot according to the uh, size of the milling cutter then this width of the T According to width of the T, you have to select the T slot milling cutter. Actually, T slot making is performed in two steps. First, you have to make the slot by means of end milling cutter, and second step, T slot milling cutter. This shank will be accommodated into the slot and T will be made. Okay? So, these are the operations to be carried out as medium operations and next lecture we will see another one.